There's a saying that into everyone's life, a little rain must fall. It's an understatement of the century, right? Bad things happen. And when tragedy strikes, the questions quickly follow. God, where are you? Do you even care? In John chapter 11, Jesus' followers and friends are asking those questions of him. His friend Lazarus had died and Jesus hadn't been there to save him. Now, they knew that Jesus had tremendous power, yet his power couldn't prevent Lazarus from dying. And now it was too late. At least that's what everyone thought. Everyone except for Jesus. Three words came from the mouth of the Messiah. Lazarus, come out. Lazarus obeys. Death is conquered. In the midst of this incredible story, we find an important note. The biographer John says that before Jesus raised Lazarus, Jesus wept. Standing there at the grave, about to be opened, with the power to solve the ultimate problem, Jesus cries. We worship a God who emotionally engages with our troubles. Not from some sense of powerlessness. Jesus has the power to conquer anything, but he does it out of empathy. Jesus felt the pain that Lazarus' family and friends felt. At that moment, Jesus was on his own journey towards pain and death, braving that road to rescue us from this broken, painful world and to put an end to death for good. Whatever you're going through, Jesus understands. When you cry, he weeps with you. Whether we understand his pain or not, whether or not we see his fingerprints in the here and now, Christ has never even for a moment distanced himself from us who have placed our faith in him. Someday, thanks to the pain he endured on the cross, death will be forever erased, never to trouble us again. But right now, today, take comfort in the fact that we, sisters and brothers in Christ, never cry alone.